Today on the Ask BP podcast, we're talking about how can I use bigger pockets to get lenders or partners? Stay tuned. You're listening to another Bigger Pockets Ask BP podcast, where you'll hear short, direct answers to your biggest real estate questions. Submit your question today on Facebook, Twitter, or the Bigger Pockets forums by using hashtag AskBP. And don't forget to pick up your copy of The Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Real Estate Investing and other great content when you sign up for your free account at biggerpockets.com. With that, let's get to the show. Hey, what is going on, everyone? My name is Brandon here with the Ask BP Podcast. Super excited that you are here joining me today. And today we're talking about one of my favorite topics, and that is partners, how to find them. And not just partners, but also lenders as well. Anybody that you can work with uh, to build your business. Because let's be honest here, you don't have everything you need to build your real estate business, am I right? I mean, you might not have money. Maybe you don't have the time. Maybe you don't have the experience. Maybe you don't have uh, one of a 100 things. And that is the beauty of real estate, is that it's like a gigantic puzzle. and your goal is to find your missing puzzle piece. And so that might be a lender, that might be a partner, that one might be one of a million things. And so uh, today we're gonna talk about how to actually use the site, biggerpockets.com, to be able to find those. Uh, now, I like to think of Bigger Pockets as a gigantic room, you know, like a gigantic room of 300,000 plus members and a million monthly visitors who are just hanging out in this room. Now imagine you're in this big room with me and you're walking around and you're, you're seeing people and everyone's you know all over the board from brand new to super experienced, guys that have done hundreds or even thousands of deals and guys that have never done anything. Uh, and so you're in that big room. Now how do you attract money? Now there's a few ways you can do that, like partners or lenders. Uh, one of those ways would be to walk around and just start shouting, hey, I need money, I need money, I need money. And and everybody would laugh at you, right? I mean, that's no way to get money if you're in a big room of people to network with. That's stupid, right? Uh, another way to do it is just to walk around quietly and hide in the corner and, and not talk to anybody. That's also a pretty terrible way to find uh, partners or lenders or whatever. So, how do you do it? If you were in a big room, how would you attract people? Well, you'd probably get into a circle and start talking, right? Have you ever been in a situation like that? You get in a circle, and start having conversation, one thing leads to another, you find out one guy does something that you need and, and you find that missing puzzle piece. And you might have to have a dozen, two dozen, 50 conversations. You might trade your business card 100 times in that room, but eventually, you will find that perfect person that could be a good potential partner. That, my friend, is what Bigger Pockets is. It's a just giant, the world's largest room of real estate investors. And uh, if you're not participating in that room, you're really missing out. So let's talk about how to do that. First of all, uh, your profile. If you have a Bigger Pockets profile, that is your business card. That is what people see to learn more about you. Uh, if you don't have yet a Bigger Pockets profile, it means you don't have an account, which means you should, probably should set one up, biggerpockets.com, and you can sign up right there. It's totally free to sign up for Bigger Pockets, so make sure you do that first. Uh, but then they're gonna go to your profile, and what are they gonna see? If you wanna see what your profile looks like, just when you're logged in, go up to the top right corner and click on the little icon of your face up there and you can go see what your profile looks like. Now what does that look like to a stranger? Imagine you're in somebody else's shoes and they're looking uh, at your profile. What are they seeing? Uh, is it filled out? Do you have a lot of information? What are your goals? What are you looking for? What's your story? What have you done? Is that all filled out or is it just empty? You know, I would, I would say a good portion of the people of profiles I go to are half empty and I'm like, what, what are you trying to do here? Like you wouldn't walk into a, a big room of 300,000 people buck naked, would you? <laughs> so like, why would you do that on bigger pockets, right? So, you know, dress up nicely, put some good stuff on there and uh, you know, show people what you do. Be professional in that. Do you have a photo? I mean, do you have a photo? I mean, would you want to work with somebody who didn't have a professional looking photo? Is the photo a picture of your dog? I mean, I like dogs, I'm a, you know, Charlie's at home right now and I miss him, but you know, you don't want to picture your dog if you're trying to raise you know, money or partners or whatever. So make sure you have a very, very good looking photo as well, uh, something just that shows that you're a professional person. It doesn't have to be you in a suit and tie, I mean, come on, we're a relaxed site, but uh, make sure it's professional looking. Uh, you fill out that profile. If you are a pro member, make sure you put a video. Vi uh, pro members have the ability to put a video on their profile, which is extremely powerful, and here's why, right? So if I were to look at somebody on Bigger Pockets and I see their photo, there is always a slight possibility that that photo might be 20 years old. That could be somebody else's photo. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, photos are, are great, but video is hard to fake, right? Video Video builds trust in a way that nothing else uh, can do. So if you are, again, if you are a pro member, make sure you add a video that just, uh, you know, mentions who you are. If you want to see an example, go to my site or go to my Facebook, I mean my uh, BiggerPockets profile and you will see my video right on there. 
So now you've got kind of your profile filled out, you got your calling card, uh, who you are, what you're looking for. Now it's time to get active. Again, going back to the analogy of the room, if you've got this big room full of people talking, you're not gonna get anything if you're not engaging in the conversations. You're not gonna build those relationships. You gotta get out there and start talking. Now maybe you're brand new and you don't know anything, that's okay. Nothing wrong with you know, getting into a conversation and asking people, jump into the forums, answer some questions if you can, offer your advice, maybe just welcome people. I mean, if nothing else, if you are brand new and you have nothing you don't feel you can add, go welcome new people to the community every day. Uh, I had somebody mention that the other day to me that uh, they've done deals just because they've welcomed people to the community. Just from that first conversation of, hey, glad to have you here. We have an entire forum, it's called the uh, New Member Introduction Forum. Just go and welcome people every day, spend 15 minutes a day on bigger pockets, engaging and welcoming new members, you never know what might happen from that. Uh, so again, get in those conversations. If you are more experienced, share your advice, share what you've done, uh, create a success story. Every time you do something awesome, share a success story in the success story forum. If you went and did your first flip, you bought your first flip, go share that story. If you sold your first flip, go share that story. Uh, the success stories drive people and they make people excited about real estate uh, and they wanna move forward and then they see that you're a person of action and somebody that is actually getting out there doing things and they wanna work with you. And so a lot of a lot of real estate, you know, partners and lender building is just through that networking and building your own personal credibility and your brand. Uh, finally, don't be afraid, you know, to, to reach out to people via private message. Send them a message on the site, send them a, a colleague request to people and just say, hey, just wanted to be colleagues with you. I noticed you're in my area or I noticed you're interested in flipping houses, I am too. And get into conversations. Uh, chat with them. If they're available to chat, you can now chat on Bigger Pockets as well. Talk to them. You know, I, I ask them what they're up to, what are their current projects. If you need advice, ask them for some advice. Just really build that, that connection with people, the real life connection. You know, and obviously there's things on the site I'm not really gonna get into, but there's the marketplace. You can advertise for deals if you've got a deal or if you're looking for one, you can use the marketplace. But I wanted to keep it very basic today and talk about just the idea of building your own personal credibility and your own brand to be able to go out there and attract private money, to attract lenders, partners, whoever it is, whatever the missing puzzle piece that you need that's how you attract it. Uh, and so it's just super, super powerful and I hope you take advantage of that. And the last thing I'm gonna say about partners and lenders is this, all of it's for nothing if you don't have a good deal. So make sure you have an incredible deal that you're finding or make sure you're intent on getting a good deal. Because uh, if you're gonna work with people or borrow money, you've gotta have a big enough pie so everyone gets a good piece. So study up on that, learn how to run a good deal, how to analyze a good deal. Uh, if you're unsure on how to do that, use the bigger pockets, the rental property calculator, the flipping calculator, the wholesaling calculator. I uh, just you know, get involved, learn how to analyze deals so that when you have a great deal, you'll be able to present it to that partner or lender uh, as a confident person because you know it's a good deal. So with that, we're gonna take off and uh, let you guys get out of here. Uh, today's success quote of the day though comes from one of my favorite authors, guy who wrote the Martian Chronicles, Ray Bradbury, uh, who said, life is trying things to see if they work. And I really like that a lot because a lot of what we do today in real estate is just testing things out, trying it, you know, getting out there and stepping out into the world and seeing if it works. And if it doesn't, alter, pivot, you know, make things happen. Uh, I love that quote anyway, and hopefully you can do that with your life. Uh, so let's get out of here. Remember, in your pursuit of your dreams, goals, aspirations, uh, ambitions, whatever you want to achieve in life, don't just sit here and learn. Don't just watch the YouTube video uh, or listen to the podcast. And speaking of YouTube video, Give me a thumbs up if you're uh, watching this on YouTube. But don't just do that, take action, get out there. Uh, you know, move, go do something today in the next 20 minutes that's gonna move your investing forward. Don't just learn, take action. For the Ask BP Podcast, my name is Brandon, signing off. You've just heard another episode of the Bigger Pockets Ask BP Podcast. Submit your question today on Facebook, Twitter, or the Bigger Pockets Forum by using hashtag AskBP. And for more incredible real estate investing tools and education, including a free download of our book, The Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Real Estate Investing, head over to biggerpockets.com and sign up for your free account today. We'll see you on the next show. Barry, uh, who said, let me look. Oh, password, come on.